Hello there, this is a uh, demonstration video on how you can use Composer for creating and distributing uh, JavaScript packages rather than PHP packages. Um, obviously there's actual um, there's, uh, package based technologies aimed just at JavaScript um, like NPM, but this is uh, using Composer just because you can and because I'm familiar with it. So uh, here we go. I've created a um, demonstration package here on GitHub. Uh, I'll link in my um, tutorial. And there's also, if you find it useful, a, a demonstration implementation of using the package, but that's what we're just gonna do right now. So I'm gonna create a new website, a uh, new project, CD desktop. Look there, my project, cool. I'm going to go into my project and I'm going to include the package. So, composer require programster JS demo welcomer. Right? This is a very basic package that all it will do is like say hello to my person. Um, so, that's done. Right? It's created the vendor folder and stuff. I'm going to set up my project layout. So, I'm going to make my public HTML folder, which will have all my public HTML files and JavaScript stuff, basically anything the public can access. All my backend settings and stuff will be not in there, you know, my PHP based stuff. Um, so yeah, um, and then in here I will have a JS folder, right, which will have all my JavaScript libraries in it. So now, uh, unfortunately, you these even if you build a package with scripts, those scripts will not automatically execute. Uh, only the scripts defined in the root composer.js file will execute. So I'm just telling the user in the readme how to add those. Um, so here we go, adding a script section. Oh. And all it does is it will uh, remove the existing symlink. I'm going to create a symlink and it removes an existing one if it's there. Hence, I have to do dash f because it won't exist to begin with. And I create the symlink between the the package, which will be in vendor, and that it's actually it's actually in source within the package name. And I'm just going to put that in public HTML JS demo welcomer. If you don't have a public HTML folder or JS folder, you you would just edit this bit, you know. Um, just change it however you like. So that's that. I'm going to do a composer. Oh, I am. I think. Yeah, I messed that up, but that's fine. Uh, composer update now. Oh. And you'll see it, it didn't have to do anything because there was no updates to the package, um, but it ran the script, right? So now, if I go into the JS folder, it links to my package source file and then so it's it's there right uh, so now I'm going to create my index.html file because I'm not even using PHP right now it's just a very basic demo uh, very very basic HTML page uh, just for demonstration purposes so I'm gonna have an HTML body I'm actually going to include the JavaScript in the head. Uh, so it's going to be uh, JS slash welcomer dot JS. Uh, actually, no, the package, it's under the package. So it would be JS, JS demo welcomer. And there's the class in there called welcomer dot JS. And then I'm actually going to use it here. Type text JavaScript. Yep. Got to create my Volcomer object, and it's going to welcome a user called James, right? And then I just do Volcomer run. So that's my basic HTML site. Uh, and then I'm going to load it up and you'll see if I go to the source, it just does hello James, which is all the package does, you know. Um, you could easily have the package, you know, up, 
create your entire website or whatever it is you want to do. But um, that was just demonstrating um, a package written in written and using uh, Composer. Sorry, I can't think today. Um, hope that was useful, and I'll catch you later.